hello guys welcome to JD tutorials this is the part 4 of creating Azure resource manager bot so let us see all the part which we have already covered first we had seen creating a service principle in Azure using PowerShell then we saw how to get Azure access token using postman then third one call Azure REST API using Postman. In this video, we will learn how to get Azure Access Token using c -Sharp. Let's get started. Open your Visual Studio. Create a new project. We will be getting the Azure Access Token using the console app. Select the console app. I'll give the project name as Azure AAD and I'll keep all the values default and create the project. Now we'll need to import Active Directory package, right click on dependencies, manage NuGet packages, browse and I'll give the package name that is Microsoft dot identity yeah I think it's there already in the drop down yeah so this is the package name Microsoft dot identity model dot clients dot active directory I'll install the latest version okay I accept Fine, we have installed it. Let us import in our program.cs file using Microsoft dot identity model dot clients dot active directory. Yeah. Now let us call our method which will get the access token so let me write the print statement and call my get authorization code and let me create this method generate method and I'll give the return type as string because this access token will be in the string format and yeah let us remove this throw exception and let us create a object of client credential and I'll give the object name as cc equal to new client credential and this requires two values uh, client ID and uh, client secret key for this demo purpose I'll be hard coding these two values so let us uh, declare those uh, fields over here the first field which we want is um, client ID And I'll give the value later. Currently, it's the empty string. So let us copy this again because I'll be using this one. This is my client secret. This will be my tenant ID. Yeah, fine. So this requires two parameters one is client ID and another one is client secret now let us create a context this will be the authentication context I have created an object context 
and authentication context and the URL will be login dot Microsoft online dot com this we will concatenate with the other tenant ID Uh, if you go to your Azure Active Directory in Azure portal and if you click on the endpoints button you'll find this uh, URL already present so that URL will already be consisting of the tenant ID okay now we'll have to get our result and context dot uh, l acquire token async so asynchronously we'll be getting the token and the resource is the resource which we'll be using is management dot azure dot com and along with this we'll pass client credential Now suppose if uh, anything uh, wrong have happened like we are not getting a proper result we are getting some null value we need to throw some exception so I'll just write if result is null then throw new exception with a message failed to get the access token yeah suppose if we have got the proper result then I'll return the value return result dot result dot access token yeah so before running this one I hope you have already created a service principle if you have not created one then I will be putting the link in the description so that you can create a service principle in Azure using PowerShell so that would be the prerequisite because uh, all the values uh, which we are going to put over here will be coming from that uh, service principle since I have already have those values I will be just uh, giving it over here let me just write the app ID first and remember never ever leave your credentials or configuration details in the code you'll have to always use Azure vault or you can either use uh, this app settings.json file this is just for the demo purpose I am giving all these values over here yeah we have given all the three values client ID client secret and tenant ID so let us run our program go to debug start without debugging cool we got our access token now use this access token to call other REST APIs that will be the same in the next set of videos yeah thank you so much